Hello everybody, I'm very excited to start today the introduction of the Sefer Azor Anglit in English. Uh, the Agdama of the Sefer Azor was written by Rabbi Yuda Ashlag. Uh, those of you not familiar with the work of Rabbi Yuda Ashlag, commentary on the Zohar, um, commentary on Idra Raba, Idra Zuta, Safra Detzdi Uta, a student like Rav Ranvain and others, uh, that's who was Rav Ashlag. He basically brought Kabbalah by teaching Talmud Esr Sfirot, which is a commentary on Etz HaChaim, on the Tree of Life, in a way that every human being, like you and me, simple people, can understand that in, a, in the best way that we, we, we can understand. And for that reason, I'm excited. I'm feeling uh, blessed that I can share it with you. And only because I know a little bit English and a little bit Hebrew, so I can basically take that section, translate it, and to do the best I can also to explain it. If some of you get stuck with some issue with the translation or with some issue with the book or not fully understand it, I would like to recommend that you reach out to me, okay? And Bli Neder, I will do the best I can to explain a section that it's not clear to you because it, it is very important. It is my life mission to make sure that this study will go everywhere and to be studying school for kids, for adults and parents. I do believe, and I hope you will believe as well, that by studying this type of knowledge, you can actually relate it to every area of your life. If it is relationship, if it is relationship to your children, wife, husband, co-worker, partner, neighbor, and it's also a knowledge of how to connect to the creator with love. For that reason, I think that this study is so important for each and every one of us. And I hope that by me teaching it, translating it, reaching out to you, to the video, with the help of the great site like Sephaya, that's reaching out to so many souls all over the world. And I hope that that one day will be translated to more than one language, more than just Hebrew and English. We translate to Spanish as well. I hope into Chinese. And all over the world, people will start worship Hashem. Bayoma we are Hashem Echad, Ushmo Echad. And then we have Geula Shlema. Then we have Binyan Abayit. Then we have Kibbutz Galiot, Chiyat Ametim, and Meshiach Tzitken, and Meshiach Ben Yosef, Meshiach Ben David. Bezerat Hashem Itbach. Let's start. Akdama le Sefer Azor. Birurim be'avanat ma'umot Adam ve'abriya. First, we need to start to say, Rav Ashtag, Birurim. Birurim means sifting. Sifting, understanding of what is Mahuta Adam Vabriya. What is the nature of creating a human and having creation? Retsoni Bagdamazu. With this introduction, is my wish and desire, Sir Ravashak. Levarer Zedvarim Shutim Lechora, I would like to sift and clear. Think that seem very simple. Klomar, Asheria Dea Kulbe Mashbashot Bayem. It think like everybody else is touching it. And a lot of ink was poured in the paper to be explaining and translating it. But still, with all the ink, with all the time we spend, it's not clear what's going on. What are we doing here? What's the purpose of creation? So for that reason, Rav Ashtag is going to raise question. Those of you who know the style of Rav Ashtag, his work with Kelim ve Orot. Kelim is the question. Orot is the answer for those questions. Shela Aleph. First clue, first question. Mama Utenu. What is our purpose? What is our essence? Shela Bet, second question. Ma Tafkidenu Beshel Shelet Amtsiut Aruka Shanu Tabaot Ktanot Emana. What is our mission? What is our purpose? What is our identity in that chain of existence that it's so large and long that we are such a small little ring? Within that chain, Juliot, how is a Juliot of the ch- ring within that chain? Gimel, third question. When you look at yourself, you feel like you're full of damage, full of negativity, dirty, not sadiq. That when you look at us, you say, what, what is this human being? What is it? Look at this human being, it's full of selfishness. 
או כשאנו מסתכלים על הפועל שעשה אותו, אבל when we look at the creator who created us, הרי אנו מחויבים למצב ברום המעלות של כמור לשבח. Then we're supposed to be something incredible because the one who created us is so perfect that how can he create something not perfect like us? So we're supposed to put the glory to God. כי הכרח הוא שמהפועל השלם תצאנה פעולות למות. Normally, by physics, from the greatest thing come the greatest good. דלת, פורט איידיה. לפי שהשכל מחייב, הלא הוא יתברך הוא הטוב ובטיב שאין למעלה ממנו יתברך. That God, the creator, is the perfection of goodness. That there is nothing more than that. ואיך ברא מלכתחילה כל כך הרבה בריאות שתתענן לך ותעשה לך כלומר אותם. How come that the greatest goodness create human that will go through so much pain if it's sickness or separation for people or pain for somebody who die or I don't need to tell you 2024, rough, rough year, תפשין פי דלת, for the Jewish people. How can that be? ועלו בדרך הטוב להטיב, if the goodness want to do good, ועל כל פנים לא להרע כל כך. And if we want to do a little bad, we understand, but so much bad? Six million Jews in the Holocaust? Inquisition, October 7. Doesn't make sense. We, that means we don't fully understand it. Hey, this is the fifth one. How can that be that from the Nitzchi, from the eternal, something that has no end, that doesn't have no beginning, no end, that he creates something that has a beginning and has an end. And if you want to understand it, we have to have introduction to it. So we will have an understanding of Lohaz de Shalom Yom I'm not talking about the forbidden place. We're not allowed to investigate the forbidden place, which is what? Atzmuto shel aborei dvarach. There is one area you cannot ask question or try to study. It's about the essence of the Creator, blessed be he. Asher let marshav at fiz abo klal veklal. Like it say, in, in the Zohar, it say here Zohar Chadash, it draw, but it's also said in Agdamat Tikkuni HaZohar. In the Agdamah, Tikkun HaZohar, it says, Lat machshiv at fiz abo klal veklal, from Patach Eliyahu, I'm sure you say it every morning, that there is no thought that can grasp it. Ve'en lanu mishum zeh, shum machshava ve'ege bo yitbarach. How can we speak about something that you cannot grasp? Right, as Rav Ashak explained in Talmud Esar Sfirut, that, that um, um, something which is unreachable, he cannot give it a name. Why? Because name meaning moreh ala sagat, that's when you reach there. That's why you give it a name. So, ve'en lanu mishum zeh, shum machshava ve'ege bo yitbarach, ela bekom shachakirai mitzvah. So how can you say you're supposed to investigate it? He's saying in a place which is a mitzvah to investigate it, what is it? You're allowed to study and investigate the action of good, of God, but not God himself. You should know God of your father and worship him, like what King David said to, 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 to Melech Shlomo. וכן אומר בשיר הייחוד ליום חמישי ממעשיך יקרנוך. Also, as we know, in, it's saying ממעשיך יקרנוך. We only know Hashem from his action. We cannot know what Hashem is. For that reason, we cannot have חקירה on what Hashem is, but we can have חקירה on what Hashem does. On that, you can study a lot. והנה חקירה א', first thing, היא איך יצור לנו שהבריאה תהיה מחודשת, שפשוט דבר חדש שלא יהיה כלול בו יתברך בטעם שברור. How can that be that we actually claim and say the Mekubalim, the Stadi, the Chachamim, the Rabbanim, say that this is Briya Mechudeshet, this is a new creation that not exist within him, within the Creator. We already know whoever studied Torah that everything includes within the Creator. So how can he say the Creator created something that not include within him? And the Creator created something that not include within him. There's a question, famous question. Can you give something that you don't have? So that's the first question. Please, I know it's a, that style of Rav like It's kind of question, 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 and then the answer comes. If you don't have the question in front of you all the time, it's very difficult to understand. So when the answer began, so make sure that you know what is it, it is answering. Even it actually mentioned what is he answering. Chakirabet, the second investigation, over the thing which is holy to investigate over that. If your answer will be yes, 
Just beyond meaning something from nothing. Meaning that the creator is so great that he can create something he doesn't have in him. Please allow me to ask a question. What is this new existence that you say not include within him, but it's a new thing? Please tell me what it is. Second idea, second Chakira. Chakira Gimel. Now it's coming to Chakira Gimel, the third investigated over the holy thing that you allowed to say what it is. The Mekubalim already said that, that the, a person or the Neshama of a person is is the part of Hashem from above. There is really no difference between the Creator, blessed be He, to the soul of a person. The only difference that the Creator is everything and the Neshama is a part of everything. There is a mashal, it's like a mountain, that there is a rock coming from the mountain. The only difference that the mountain is the creator, and the piece of the stone, that's the chelek, that's the soul. We have to get into it and understand. So, so we understand that when you take a chisel, a chisel you say, chisel, or a hammer, and you break a piece of stone from the mountain, makes sense. This is when it comes to physicality. How can you tell me? Are you going to hit the creator with, with the hammer or chisel and then take the piece of the soul? That you are disconnect the part of the essence of the creator, and now you're going to call it soul. And you're going to call it chelik, a part. And we're supposed to understand it, that that's a part of the creator, blessed be he. Of course, those questions and Hakirot of Ravashtag seem like Rav Shalom Kfira. Rav Shalom, whoever doesn't understand to study Torah, it looks like Kfira. It's almost like the kushiot that we have in the Gemara. That the kushiot in the beginning, before you understand the kushiot, it seems like, Chav Shalom, something's wrong with the people who ask the question. But if without those questions, without those hakirot, without those doubts that we're raising, we will not have the certainty and the answer that we're looking for. Hakira Dalet, fourth hakira. Still no answer, guys. You have to be patient with this study. It will take us maybe one month but eventually you will be very happy. We know that the chariot of the dark side called Sitra Acha. It's far away from the Creator, like from one side to another. Until we cannot even imagine how far away it is from the Creator. How can you tell me that the dark side is what's created? by the good side. Not only that, we study that the Kedusha of, of Kadosh Baruch Hu, of the Bore Olam, is the one who makes the Klippot exist. Barat Torah, Barat Yetzirah, Barat Yetzirah, Barat Torah Tavlin. Mi Barat Yetzirah? Who created Yetzirah? Kadosh Baruch Hu. Torah Tavlin. All the Klippot, all the negativity. Klippot, you know, is Chashuv. You look at grapes, grapes is the main fruit. Around there is leaves, there is branches, there is that. Who give that power? Hashem Barach. Klipot and Gdusha. So, what is going on? Chakira A, fifth. Inyan Tchiyat Ametim. You talk to me and you promise me about the resurrection of the dead. Kevan Shagufu Davar Bazui Kul Kach. The body is the most unuseful thing for our spiritual journey. All what the body wants is me, me and myself. If it's food, if it's kavod, if it's sexuality, if it's ego, everything is the body. All the problem we have is the body. It's such a thing. You talk to me about Tchiyat Ametim, resurrecting this piece. When a child born, it's for sure he's going to die too, in one, whatever age it is. Ela Shamru Bazoar, it's saying Zohar Truma. Okay, it says Zor Truma. If the body is not going to decompose itself perfectionly, 
The soul cannot go to Gan Eden. כל עוד שיש איזה שיעור עימנו. If there is still flash and meat and problem and whatever it is in the grave, the soul cannot rise itself. ואם כן, מהו החיוב שיחזור ויקום לתחילת המדינה? So why you want to resurrect such a piece? If that piece is the prevention of Gan Eden, then let this piece die. So the person is staying in Gan Eden. וכאילו יוכל הקדוש ברוך הוא להנהג את הנשמות בלעדו? Is Hashem is not as great as we say Hashem is? To make sure without the resurrection we still, everything will be okay. ויותר תמוה. More doubt I will raise here. מה שאמרו חז"ל. What the Chazal said. In Masechet, in the Zohar, Emor, this week parasha, שעתידים המתים לקום לתחייה במומם. That the way that the מתים will resurrect, they will be resurrect with their blemish. כדי שלא יאמרו אחר הוא. ואחרי זה ירפא את המומים שלהם, מיניגי הוא בורן עם נו לג, הוא יהיה רזרק עם נו לג, ואז הלג יהיה גרוע. אם זה באמת מה זה אומר? ויש להבין מה אכפת לו כזה ברוך שאומרי אחר הוא. מה זה גוד קר? אם זה גאי נאם יוסילה, יוסילה לוסט את שתי לג, באחד מהמאבק באוקטובר 7. אז הוא נמצא, הוא נמצא. אם תחיל את האמתים, הוא יהיה ראשון להגיד את הגרע בלי שתי לג, ואז הלג יהיה גרוע. זה באמת מה זה אומר. But is it literally what it means? Or there is a deep un- secret to it? And what does God care about if they say he's the other guy? That God has to create the mum, the blemish in their body, and then cure them. Chakira Avav, the sixth question. That the human is the center of all existence. That all the upper world, And this physical world, the Gashmi, the Kol Milom and all the fulfillment, Lo Nivru Ela Bishvilo, Zohar Tazriya, that the whole universe was created for human being. Vechivu it Adam Laamin Sheh Bishvilo Nivra Olam, Sanedrin Lamed Zayin Amud Alef. We are supposed to believe Bishvilcha Nivra Olam. It's one of the emunot a human being has to have in the morning. It's a difficult emunah. Sometimes when you don't feel good about yourself, you don't, you're not, you're doing Avera. <laughs> you feel today the universe was not created for me. No, 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 for you. Can you imagine to wake up in the morning and to feel Bishvili Nivra Olam is something you're supposed to do? It's difficult. For those of you who have work on the Gava, work on the youth, make yourself a little nobody. You wake up at 6 a.m., go and mikveh before the minyan, and you walk in the street, Bishvili Nivra Olam, chaverim. No, I think for everybody. No, no, Bishvili. Masachet Sanhedrin. You must. שלכאורה קשה להבין. שבילי לאדם הקטן הזה שלא תופס זכר של שערה, ואיך מציאות העולם הזה, we are not even air, you know, like, like air in, in your head, not even that, in this עולם. וכל שכן בערך כל העולמות הם יודעים שאין כסף לכל עולמותם. And if we talk about all the עולמות הרוחניים, אדם קדמות, האצילות, בריאה, יצירה, עשייה, you talk about all the עולמות, we are the reason for the creation. תרח הקדוש ברוך הוא לברוא כל אלו בשבילו, וכן למה לא לאדם כל זה? Why is God created for the whole universe for this little creature, כל יומן? And why is the human need all of it for itself? Do I have time? No. All right, we will continue for the, with the answer uh, next week. בריאת העולם להיטיב לנברא. That's what we have.